one participant was me. Nutrition overview. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the nutrition overview class slash Zoom seminar. I'm gonna wait for some people to get on here. We got Chris helping us out with um, technical things. We got Bernadette in the house. How's it going, Bernadette? Um, I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but can you hear me? Thumbs up. And I think there's a uh, a chat box. Let's see. Right questions here. Perfect. Here we go. Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, I can hear you now. Okay. All right. How you doing? Yeah, I can. How are you? Good to see you. Finally, yeah. <laughs> How are the? Uh, have you started the walks? Have I have. Started? Yeah. How was the? Uh, how's the smoke doing? Mm -hmm. It's pretty bad over here. Really? Um, yeah. I went on a short one with the dog today, so, but I went. Good. I got my ass. Went. <laughs> Good. Get so. your ass walking. Um, yeah. you know, the walk program is definitely, you know, help people kind of like get moving again. Cause I know obviously COVID hit and motivation came to everyone at all time low. So mm -hmm. the walking program was more of like, all right, what can everyone do? And I was like, everyone can walk. Yeah. <laughs> what you like? Everyone can walk. Yeah. So. Um, that's, what, that's what I was like thinking about this morning. I woke up and I was like, you know what? it's walking like why can't i just fucking go do it you know <laughs> absolutely it's like it's a step 100 percent. what has been like um before like you know people start getting on what's been something for you that's been um an obstacle or like a you know a difficult thing to do what, what, what has been something for you that's um i would say kind of like getting it in period because yeah. I have a new job and it's just I'm working almost 50 hours a week so when I get home I get up really early and it's like okay I really got to get my ass up but then when I get home it's like I'm so freaking tired after today so I'm like kicking my myself in the ass and just be like what just time go what's 100 what time do you start work I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some stuff down real quick what time do you start work Um, so I work at, uh, between seven and seven forty-five. That's the start time or that's, you go from seven in the morning to seven forty-five. No. So this between seven and seven forty-five AM is when I'm supposed to be there. So I usually wake up around like six thirty. Six. And then what time do you usually get home? Uh, between six thirty and seven. So about a twelve hour day. Average. Yeah. Wow. You you must never be tired. Yeah. Um. It is. I, it's more. Yeah. It's more mentally draining than anything. Hundred percent. What What do you do again? Like in terms of like your your like day to day. Yeah, so I, I work in enterprise. Oh, nice. So I'm okay. like moving cars around. Yeah. My friend works at, he's a branch manager in San Rafael. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. He's probably like worked really hard to get there too because yeah, the whole he's program worked there for a long time. Yeah, yeah, he's worked there for a long time. So, but yeah. I think he did what you did, like moving cars around, like exhausted and just, you know, it's tiring. Mm -hmm. um, do you like it? It is. I love it. I love yeah. my job. Nice. Um, I love the people I work with. Cool, cool. Yeah, Enterprise, I've heard great things it's about. It's kind of like coming together after that, but like. Are you lagging? What was that? So we, we might be lagging. Lagging? Okay. I can't, like, it's going in and out. 
Mm -hmm. so can you hear me at all? Or am I lagging? Am I going? Yeah, you're, I can hear you. Yeah, you're lagging. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, but basically, I mean, I'm still kind of trying to wait for people to come on. I'm not sure if people are going to come on, but I'm recording um, this. So mm -hmm. I'm going to post this either way. Um, but basically, okay. what I'm going to go over was a nutrition overview. Um, but good news for you since you're the only one here for right now. Chris is also here. So you can say hi to Chris. Chris helps out with mind body performance. Um, he's a hi, Chris. Uh, <laughs> that my I'm here watching the screen, but um, I'm here in spirit. <laughs> he's here. Uh, he's cool. He's uh helped me out with like um the the programming and kind of getting every the whole like back end set up. Um and then obviously mm -hmm. if I mess up with this technical stuff, he'll, he'll help me. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi here is, is wonky, but we're going to work with it either way. What I want to do is since there is no, you know, you get pretty much like a one-on-one -on -one attention right now. So mm -hmm. what is something nutrition wise that you think like personally you have the most either obstacles or difficulties with, whether it's, snacking at night i hear that a lot whether it's binging like like sweets for me i'm a sucker for cheeses and oreos i'm not gonna lie i know those things i could just because every, every <laughs> i could usually be like all right i'll have this amount but when it comes to oreos mm -hmm. and cheese it's i go until my <laughs> until like my stomach can't handle them so like yeah you know what are some of the you know obstacles or difficulties or things that you see that you're like all right like i'm aware of this but i just for some reason i can't stop it i think it's i think a lot of people have this problem too it's like yeah. you have the option to eat at home or to order something in because it's so convenient and i'm tired at the end of the day so it's like do i really want to cook this right. or like do I really, and then do the like, dishes and clean yeah so um but i'm i don't i don't have any problem cleaning okay. or anything like that it's just I do. um <laughs> do i have time <laughs> i mean i don't <laughs> mind cleaning i enjoy it <laughs> it's kind of therapeutic but um what do you usually eat out like g g give me some examples of some like um things that you well it depends like sometimes i'm like i really don't want to like be that crappy and get shitty stuff like i want a lot of times it's like poke like sushi or um a salad or sometimes i just go all out and it's like you know what in and out cheeseburger yes. shake like all of it you know <laughs> no i love my in and out <laughs> so good so good um okay and how often and be bernadette line first of all do you go by bernadette or do you go by somebody bernadette else? bernie Bernie. Burns, you like Burns or Bernie? Like, is there someone that you prefer? I mean, no. I mean, it's it's shorter for people to say Bernie or Burns, but I really don't care. All right. Whatever works for you. All right, Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Um, what would, uh, out of how many days a week would you say you order out versus eating at home? Lying is the devil. If I were to be honest, yes. it'd be four or five times love it. i love that i love how the honesty is what's going to help you because then because if, if you like yeah. I, if you tell me something else i won't know how to actually help you exactly you me, yeah. yeah so guys okay, so four to five great now on the times that you do eat at home what are some things that you cook um i usually have well it's more like instant stuff because it's proportioned out correctly most of the time so um whether it's like instant mac and cheese or it's like rice mm -hmm. um, stuff like, like that like the ones like a boil in a bag rice stuff or or like the microwave yeah rice or... yeah kind of um sometimes i cook if i'm really feeling it um i know the most the worst things uh that i've heard is like Microwave or not microwave? Hell no. Um, <laughs> oven pizza, like uh, at home, like just heating up pizza, and I'm like, 
so good, but. Show me your fridge. But yeah. My fridge? Yeah. Okay. I want to see it real quick. Since we're, is this, you're getting one-on-one -on -one attention right now. Everyone else is losing out on this, not on this, like, attention that they could be getting. But you're getting it all right now, so. Well, I'm glad because your girl needs help. So. <laughs> well, I'm going to help um, you. <laughs> no, you got to show me it. I'll just open it. So, <laughs> it no, 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 no. I'm trying to, like, look and see because hey, I share with other people, so I have to show you the right. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's so, okay. Um, I have this. Oh, those are – oh, that's not Trader Joe's. No. This over is me. Okay, so let me see all of it, and I just want to see it. And I'll tell you oh. what I would throw away, but I'm not going to. So it's just. That's great. I love that. <laughs> so no. I have a lot of this. I have about That's good. three that That's last good. me. Okay. And then I have like fat free bean rice burrito. Great. Eat that after you know, the workout. Um, and then I have a little bit. After workouts? Okay. After perfect. or right no. before? <laughs> after um, or right before? Like eat, eat the, the bean? Yeah, like the 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 mm -hmm. high carb stuff, or the high fat stuff, like which is the beans and the car and the and the tortilla and stuff. You want to eat most of that stuff either like around mm -hmm. your workout, right before it, so you have the energy for the workout to have a little bit more oomph, or right after it. Because if you think of a workout in your metabolism, do you remember how like when you used to change the tire on your bicycle, you used to flip the bicycle mm -hmm. upside down, and then you turn the wheel mm -hmm. like this and you just go go go. Well, think of that yeah. as a workout. And then the wheel is your metabolism. Well, the harder mm -hmm. you hit this, the wheels can go faster. And then as soon as you mm -hmm. stop the wheel, as soon as you stop working out, the wheel doesn't stop. It keeps going mm -hmm. for a little bit. And then it's, it's slowing down, down. But yeah. it's still going. So you're going to use all that energy. Got yeah. It. So around your workout, right before or right after, is when you could eat, mm -hmm. cheat. Like those are the things. That, okay. That's the time when you can eat those type of foods. Right okay. before bed, right in the morning. Okay. doing work or on the days that you don't really work out are the days mm -hmm. where you don't want to eat those foods and then save them for the workout days and then you can eat foods with high fiber like vegetables that fried rice is probably okay with higher protein um but yeah around the workout mm -hmm. yeah there's awesome. chicken so let me see the rest okay so i have mac like it's instant mac and cheese but it's uh 65 percent less fat and 25% oh, no. fewer calories. So it's just like, I see proportioned out, stuff facts? like that. I'm not gonna lie. Can I see the nutrition facts on that, please? All right, it's just one serving. Two. That's not bad at all. All right, nice. That's not bad at all. Um, and then I have, I'm not gonna lie, I have pasta. There's no way I can have pasta. That's all right. <laughs> I thought it's okay. Let me see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 180, one cup, you'll probably have two cups. So this is after a workout. This is an after a workout meal. Okay, yeah. So I have that in my freezer. But okay. when it comes to my fridge, I have mango. Let me see. Um, so I have mango in okay. here. Uh -huh. I have three of them. And nice. then I have carrots. Nice. And then like a thing of hot dogs, I uh, guess. That's not too bad. And then, so I what? It's good. Okay, um, well, I'm from Iowa, and my dad tried to send me corn, so I have a thing of corn. Iowa. Like, stocks of corn. <laughs> Those football players. And it's like, you have to be funny about it. No, no. <laughs> um, but that's about it. Like, I honestly think I need to go to the store a little bit, but, oh, can't forget the uh, cabinet here. So this is probably where I go wrong. Yeah, show me the cabinet snacks. Um, snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really – well, yeah, I guess you'd say snacks. So kind of like trail mix type stuff, like sweet First of all, potato I love, how, I, love, I love what you're doing right now. I love how the transparency – like this is going to help you out so much. Trust me. Okay, so sweet potato chips, I have these. Nice. Um, everything I get is from Trader Joe's. Um, I have black mango tea. Sounds really good. Which is pretty good. I have, yeah, and then I have cereal. Let me see. Kind. Okay. Uh, the maple con. And then um, I have uh, pita bread. 
which is probably not the best, but. No, your bread is actually yeah. better than white bread. I have Cliff Bars only in the mornings to get me started. Um, but yeah, I only eat those in the morning. I can honestly say that. Um, but they're like, they have a little flavor to them. So like chocolate brownie, okay. Cliff Bars. Um, and then I just have like some trail mix stuff that I haven't opened yet. Mm -hmm. um, I also have almonds, non-salted almonds, which is good. Um, I have agave and some honey, just like, I think I used to have, a, I used to put it in my oatmeal uh -huh. um, that I have here. So yeah, um, and then I have granola in the back. I have strawberry and uh, nut stuff and then, okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mac and cheese. Oh, okay, okay. Those are your little snacks. Yeah. Those are your, that, that's yeah. your cheat day meal. The mac, the craft mac. Yeah. And cheese. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and then I also have organic, uh, kind of like pop tarts type thing, but it's. So you're a Trader Joe's shopper. Yes. Um, Heavy. So what good and good Trader Joe's is is mainly most of their stuff is pretty healthy. Now. Because mm -hmm. I know you used to be an athlete still are right well yes. i would say once an athlete always mm -hmm. an athlete. you still have the athletic you know mindset and yes yeah yeah once an athlete, always an athlete. <laughs> yes um i miss i miss sports you should do your workouts like you used to okay because what that will do is it'll put your metabolism back to where you think it is mm -hmm. most athletes once if you have never seen like pro athletes once they stop playing they eat the same as they used to eat. And so like they gain a little, you know, like a lot of baseball players are like super skinny, but once they mm -hmm. retire, they get a little beer belly because they're continuously, yeah. they, they don't change their meals, but they change their exercise. Yeah. Exactly. Um, football players are, do they just get like obese? It's not even just the <laughs> belly, it's everything. <laughs> like football players are the worst because you're moving so much and like you yeah. eat so much during that sport, but like what, mm -hmm. swimmers, swimmers are the same way because you can eat so much mm -hmm. during the sport. When you yeah. stop the sport, what are you gonna, what do you think you're, they're gonna stop eating? Like they're going to continue to eat, but, like, their exercise is different. <laughs> so what yeah. I want you to do is try to think about, like, what are some types of, you know, workouts that you used to do back in the day when you did used to play, like, softball or basketball? Like, what were the things that you used to do a lot workout-wise? We, we did a lot of a um, little bit of everything, but yeah. they really stressed on, like, cardio and endurance. Um, yeah. But then they also tried to – like one year they focused on uh, building strength. So they had us doing weights a lot. Um, and then uh, they were like, oh, we didn't do so hot in terms of running. So they went heavy on the cardio. So a lot of circuit training as well. Um, a lot of HIIT um, hit workouts. Uh -huh. So. Do you think you, yeah. do you enjoy those workouts? Do you, do you like those? Mm. <laughs> yeah i mean what do you enjoy there's i love running for some reason i absolutely love running really? which people hate all the time but i actually enjoy what running what do you love about it I'm, like the distance or like sprints um i like the last i usually try to go for an hour which i know is hard for knees but um do you, do you run on the treadmill or do you run on, like, the street of San Francisco? Well, I you, sometimes I do both. Um, I used to run on the tread a lot. Uh -huh. And I just go for, like, those last, like, 5 to 10, 15 minutes that you just completely sprint it out. And then the feeling you get afterwards, after you get off the treadmill, you're like, shit, I just put in work. Now yeah. I just want to go bang out a salad, like, do some stuff and go to bed, you know? Yeah. So, like, it sets the tone a little bit. Okay. So what about if you did, cause you, cause your goal, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe what you told me is your goal is to lose a little weight, but also keep your like muscle, right? Like, mm -hmm. so yeah. cardio, I don't think you're ever going to lose your muscle, but I think if you only did cardio, you could shrink it. 
basically what happens, because mm-hmm. basically the thing is people think that they, when they do cardio, they lose gains. Not true. Mm-hmm. What happens is they, they do their muscles just kind of like their muscle um, tendons, like the actual little like, you know, things that we see, learn in science class. You know, I don't, I don't really know the word for it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> those little things, they shrink. Yeah. So it's like muscle memory is real. It's still there, Mm -hmm. but because there's not enough blood put to it, like, you know, we're not burning Mm -hmm. it out anymore. Blood's not flowing to it. It doesn't need to be, it's not as swollen, so it shrinks. Um, And so what we need to do is maintain it, not necessarily gain or lose it. So what we can do for you is doing the running, the cardio, plus a little bit of weights instead of like a lot of cardio, a lot of weights, or like a lot of weights, little cardio, Mm -hmm. right? Plus, yeah. now with because there's two basically main goals that people have is um, fat loss and hypertrophy, which is muscle gain. Those are the two mm-hmm. goals that may, most of people have, and it sounds like you're uh, more of like right now, at least the fat loss, you can gain muscle later on, but it sounds like you already have the muscle from the sports, mm-hmm. which is good because I, I did that. I, I literally gained all my muscle and I became like 250. Mm-hmm. And I got back down to 180, um, but the muscle didn't like leave as long as it's like, yeah. Away. So not only are you going to mm-hmm. cut down and like, be leaner but you're gonna cut down and then your muscles are still there so they're gonna show you know so you just be like two and one you know, so like, whoa who's well, this who's this you know the thing is i've lost weight before uh-huh. and when i did that's exactly what happened my muscles got smaller so when it came to performance time i was not like hitting as well doing yeah. that stuff but i'm not doing that anymore so i i mean yeah i want to stay fit but is that a priority? No. So if, if that happens, it happens, but. What's a priority for you right now? (laughs) What? What's, what's like the biggest priority for you right now? Honestly, yeah, losing weight is a priority for me right now, but it's just, that kind of comes with like a little bit of happiness. Yeah. If you're, if you're talking about big picture. Yeah. Um, because I know I'm better than this. So it's like, it's kind of like disappointing to myself. But when I saw your video the other day, I was like, I know exactly how that feels and that feels and that feels. And then I saw your transformation. I was like, shit, I could do that. I could, I've done it before. Like, why can't I do it again? You know? You're going to do it again. Hoping. I know a lot of it's mental. No, you're going to do it. A lot of it's mental. I am going to do it. A lot of it's mental. (laughs) So. So keep telling yourself you're going to do it. Cause it's mental. I'm gonna do it, and right? I have done it the past three days. So yeah. three or four days. <laughs> I'm like high fiving you. I'm not hitting. High five. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bernadette, like I like I love this so much. I really like have a lot of faith in you, and I think that, like you said, it's all mental, mm-hmm. both the good and the bad. Like you mm-hmm. self sabotaging yourself in your head, saying like, oh, like negative self talk, right? Like it's gonna hurt the performance of you working out or the positive mm-hmm. self-talk where it's like, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, I'm done. I've done it. So like what I want to do with you is actually like, if you have like moments like that, like reach out to me. Okay. Please. Would you know, like just feeling down or like your that self-talk is just like, Oh, you're not you're, like, you're not going to work out today. Like, you, you know, it's you know, whatever. Just have, have the, have the Mac and cheese. You know, it's like, as soon as that voice comes with Malik, like today's a bad day. And I'll, you know, I'll just hit you up or something. Like, or I'll figure it out. Like one time, you know, a client called and she was like, how oh, can I want to work out today? I was literally driving and I pulled over and I just called her. I was like, what do you mean? Go the heck to the gym. And like, you know, just like that alone, like just like helped her out. Cause she went, she felt way better after. And was just like, thank you so much for like giving me the time. And like, yeah, like, like that's what I want to do with you. Like I, I believe in you so much where like, I want you to feel how like you have someone in your corner and I'm that guy. Like I want to be in your corner. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I appreciate that because it's like a lot, of, a lot of my friends don't understand what it's like to be on the grind like that, especially as an athlete and having like knowing that you've let yourself go and it's like shit. It, it weighs heavy on you. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's in the back of your mind constantly and having someone to go to that's not family, friends, well, even kind of a friend yeah, throughout yeah. like I was about to say. A lot of time we've known each other. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like someone who is willing just to sit down and listen instead of having something else to say, you know, which is nice. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Hit me up. 
please. Because I really, I really, I have a lot of faith in you, and I know you do. Like I see your confidence spurts. I see them here and there. You know, like I want, and I want that to be your full self, hundred percent of the time. Because I know it's real. That's the real you. It's just this other stuff is like kind of like on top of you. So I want to, you know, get rid of that stuff. Um, and sometimes you just need help. You know, just don't be scared to ask for help. Yeah. It's hard to ask for help. It's one of the hardest things. Okay. Especially for people who are capable. Yeah, I I just swallow my pride. I don't swallow I don't it. like asking for help. Swallow it up. Swall swallow it up. <laughs> there you go there you go i mean you know because i think that with and it's you know it's like you're always going to do it but like for at least the first three months like having someone there is kind of like a, like you know a crutch and i know some i personally had a super hard time asking for help my mom raised me you know like you know don't accept anything like you know always do it on your own like even if it's your birthday don't accept any money like it was just like insane like always do exactly. it on your own and if you have exactly. if you ask for help it's like the worst day of your yeah. life but like it's not and like the only people who succeed big as we look up to are people who actually had the courage to ask for help. It's not a, a weakness. It's a strength because you, you start to realize like what you do need help with. And then you go do it. It's like, Whoa, like, Whoa, you know, like all the things that we think are weaknesses as humans, I actually believe are strengths. Like vulnerability is a strength. Being able to be transparent is a strength. The things that people think are strengths, like swallow, you know, swallow your, not swallow your pride, have pride, you know, mm -hmm. do it on your own. Like those are all weaknesses and like egotistical insecurities. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I and got it's, it's like you've had them. Yeah, everyone has them. Everyone. Everyone has them. No one but just like, talks about it. No one just doesn't want to talk about it. They just yeah, be like, yeah. oh, you can do it. You can do it instead of being like, hey, this is reality. This is what you feel. And it's like, whoa, I'm not the only person, you know? <laughs> so. It's Everyone nice. has that voice. Mm -hmm. Everyone has that voice. So now you have someone to reach out to when you have that voice. All right? Okay. All right. Now, when it comes to – now, that's just that. Now, when it comes to tracking, do you ever track your meals? Um, I used to every day. Okay. You're going to start that every again. Hey, what are you doing? You're going to eat. <laughs> okay i'm sorry what was that oh, i said you're gonna start tracking again yes 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 um that is the plan no, no, no. I it's, it's use it's my i'm going to do it excuse me do you, um, do you have my fitness pal <laughs> what do you, have my, do you track on my fitness pal i have it downloaded yes i used to do it all the time on there okay add me as a friend and i used to Alex noon I don't know if you can see okay. me. This is my first and last um, name. Yeah. You right now. Okay. Yeah. Because I know if I let you go, you might not do it later. Good job coming on this call. Bro. <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's a, it took a lot. I was debating. I was like, should I go on that call? I saw that and I was like, you know what? That could be really helpful. Kind of like a little jump start for me. <laughs> helpful? But what was that? Was it helpful? Oh, yeah. It was definitely really helpful. What was the most helpful part? Um, kind of like what to eat and when. Mm. Because I kind of have what everyone else kind of goes through, like eating – at night and kind of eating out when I'm not supposed to or when I don't have to, so. Just out of convenience? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got you, I think. Nope. I'm, I'm hooking up my phone to my charger because it's about to die. No worries. Give me one second. You're dying on me here. It's a... Uh, It's loading right now, so. No worries. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, thank you for coming on here. I appreciate it. Of course. I know it's just me on here. 
Uh, no, it's good. No, I mean, I'm glad someone came on. You know, I've, I've you know, I, I'm hoping for more people next time. Um, the goal is to get like 10, 10, 12 people. As soon as it becomes like 10 people, I'll, I'm probably gonna start charging for this just because it's, it's too much people at once. But um, definitely until then, yeah. you know, I definitely want to do these and just kind of give value as much as I can, you know. And the less people that are here, at least for yeah. the parts, like the more you get one on one attention, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So, because basically what I want to do, and you can tell me if you like this idea or not, and like how you would maybe want it in the perfect world. Um, but it, you know, I want to have like a topic of, of the day or a topic of the class, and just kind of go over like these are the two myths or this is the one like myth you know um of nutrition like breakfast is the most important meal of the day when in reality it's the meal that you do right after the workout because your body is the most depleted you know when you wake up and you fast that's not really a bad thing but if you don't eat at all after you work out that's bad because your muscles are needing food your muscles are needing fuel and if you don't have it they break down and you can get really hurt from that okay i did not know that either <laughs> I've like heard a lot of like I've really been really big into fitness and like athletics and um just like performance and I've never heard that before. Really? Mhm. Well, that's that's that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, Sweet. Yeah, okay, I got it download. It. I got it downloaded. Um oh, so is Ma- is this my first name Malik and my last name Banoon M A L E K and then B A N O U N. Okay, so how do I look you up then? So you would go to uh, more on the side, like more. Okay. App? I have the app on, yeah. So yeah, so go to more on the right side and then scroll down to where you see friends. Oh, there you are. And then add, yeah. Okay. Um. Are we already friends? I don't know. Let's email. Should I do it through contacts or Facebook? Um, or just my name. I think if you add, you can. Oh, contact. Uh, you go e- uh, email or username. Okay. And then just type in M. Oh, I'll wait till you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. M A L E K. Yeah. No space B A N O U N. B A N O U N. Correct. Okay. Is that what is that at Gmail or? Oh, just to type that in and send. Oh, so you can. Of usernames, yeah. Okay. And I should get it right here. Okay, I just sent an invitation to you. Got it. Okay. Rocket Rec. Rocket Rec? Rocket Rec. Oh, is it Rocket Tech? Rocket Trek. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I made it. No, I made it uh, back when I was in high school. And so it it's kind of like, why did I even do that? Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. And then now go to your settings. So go to more and then go to settings. More settings. Diary. Oh, okay, yeah. Diary settings. Diary settings. Diary sharing all the way at the bottom almost. It's like that's the fourth one from the Diary. bottom. Yeah. And then go friends. Okay. I mean, you, I mean, you go public too, but at least friends, because I want to see it. Okay. I just, I just put friends. Perfect. So I'm gonna look you up. Rocket wreck. <laughs> I'm gonna tell, I'm tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you to play, you play with you with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Perfect. I, I can see your diary. Awesome. So I'll look at your diary, and I think your um, one. I would not add your exercise on here. You don't need exercise on that? I wouldn't add it. Only because I would add your exercise on are you part of my app? Are you are you doing my app? So are you Mm -hmm. FC Fit one or the mind body performance one? I think it's mind perfect. No, not mind body performance. It's the uh other one, SC Fit. Yeah. So I'm gonna send you upscale trainer 
Yes. So I'm going to send you a new one for mind body performance. That's my newer one. And that's maybe why you weren't getting the, uh, okay. yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. That's probably, yeah, that's probably. So I was wondering why you weren't. Cause it gave me the two options. Yeah, my aspen acting really weird lately. I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, I when I first downloaded it, I like was on a roll. Like I was doing every workout. But then it slowed on me. Every time I tried to open it, it was really weird. All right, so I'm gonna send you some right now. Hold on. My phone's not working for some reason. I did do a factory reset on my phone the other day. Oh, really? It was awful. <laughs> it is awful. I just deleted that. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I'm going to send you an invite. So is it a separate app or? Uh, it's the same pretty much app. You just have to log in with okay. a different, yeah, you'd probably have to log out and log back in with a new, um, I'm just waiting for this to Okay. Back. And then this is it. But other than this, like before, you know, we end this, is there anything that you personally wanted to know or learn or like how to search, search like a specific question that I could answer for you? Mm-hmm. Um, let me think here. I think, I think you hit all the points because the, the number one thing I have trouble with is getting the strength to work out at the end of my day okay. and kind of keeping like having someone like you to keep me accountable. I need to keep myself accountable first of all, but well, like in the beginning, keeping, yeah. yeah, so that's, I think you hit all the points to be honest. Nice. Good. What's your last name, Brittany? Willis. Willis. And what's your email? Um, I'm gonna give you B E. Uh huh. Willis W I L L I S. Number two, number zero uh -huh. at Gmail. Perfect. So I just sent you an invite. Email already taken. Are you already part of this? Okay. Oh, there you are. You should be a part of, I'm just going to resend you, I'm going to resend um, the consultation form. Okay. Fill that out. And then what we'll do is, um, let me know if you got that email. I'm also going to just resend the inv invitation as well, just because, just so you have to Because I, I get your messages through email, but... That's right. about it. Right. So it's mind body performance. So I want you to log into the new app. That could be why you weren't getting any of the workouts. Okay. I think. No one on the walk program came in here. I might call them all out right now. <laughs> Everyone, thanks for showing up. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm just doing it right now. Do you think that Friday is a bad day to do it? Do you think Thursday would be a better day at five? Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, because I feel like Mondays and Fridays are kind of personal. Mondays and Fridays are more of like trying to start the the week, trying to end the week. Right. Really don't want to really do anything. <laughs> So yeah, understood. Okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Good to know. I had no. I had this app at first when I first downloaded your app. Yeah, this it, app. This was the first one ever. I, and then I, I switched to SC Fit because I got a business partner, and then I went back to this app. So, so how have you been like with your fitness journey? Me? Does anybody uh, ask you that? Yeah. No one has ever asked me that. Actually, to be honest with you. Um, uh, my fitness journey has been 
um, interesting to say the least. I've always kind of into it. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say so. I st I was very shy as a kid and uh, like would stutter and like would not like to talk to people and I got made fun of a lot. And so like mm -hmm. I was um, not you know not very good at sports and I knew that when I went to this high school I went to, Marin Catholic, in my area, it was a very um, prestigious school for football. Um, and so mm -hmm. I knew I needed to get bigger, faster, stronger. So I would just look up on Google how to get bigger, faster, stronger. And basically every time I would work out for about two, two to three months, someone would comment me on something, whether it was my coach saying you got stronger or faster. And that was really the first time I really got complimented rather than being made mm -hmm. fun of or shit on. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I started to love it, and I started just to continue to dive into it. So from 16 to 18, basically from 13 to 18, like my freshman year, 16 is like when I started like really, really lifting. But 13, you know, fun pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups. 14, 15, and I was a really skinny guy. So I was. Yeah. Like, oh, I saw your pull. pictures. Yeah. Yeah, I was small. I was a little weenie. And <laughs> that's why I probably got picked on a little, a little short, scrawny guy with Afro hair. Um, oh, believe me. I've, I've had my fair share too, but like, it's hard. It's hard and it makes us who we are. Yeah. You know, uh, but basically, yeah, I, I, you know, bulked up and then I got hurt and then I lost all of it and got skinny again. And then I bulked up again even more. And then as that part was bulking, I just like, after, cause I, graduated high school I didn't play football anymore so I just kept going like I said and um I went from like a, a lean because I was running around playing football whatever eating the same food lifting the same way mm -hmm. uh, a lean 205 to like lifting and eating the same way if not a lot more and and uh I got up to 250 I was very strong I built a lot of muscle but I was mm -hmm. just like puffy I could like I was getting tired walking upstairs I couldn't, yeah. like, I remember, I that, hate that, I was, dude, I was trying to put on a, this, this was the last straw, Bernie, yeah, this was the last straw, but I was trying to put on a sock, and I had to go like this, I had to go, and just reach for my foot, I was like, <gasps> yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm, this is it, like, I went from nope. to this, like, I got, like, I'm, I'm doing something about, I'm doing something about this, <laughs> yeah. so I, like, literally that day, I had my girlfriend at the time, uh, take a picture of me, I was like, Jim, take a picture of me, because I'm pissed, and, um, that's the one that everyone sees the 250 of like whatever. And uh, from that point, I just like documented everything. And I was like, all right, I was just video everything. And cause I knew I was going to lose the weight. It was just a matter of time. Um, so then I started doing different types of workouts. I focused a lot on my nutrition. Um, and I got down to like 186, but then I wasn't as strong as I'd like to be. Cause it was, it was like a certain thing of like being strong that like, it's kind of fun. You know, but I was like too big. So I was like, all right, now I'm small, not strong. <laughs> yeah. I was strong, but too big. Yeah. So then I tried to find a medium. And then when I went down to San Diego, um, I basically just like, folk, like, you know, dialed on everything and like was like 210. Yeah. You know, that, and that's pretty much like what I've learned is my like, m what I like being 210. Like right now, I'm a little lighter than I like to be, but COVID's not helping out because gyms aren't open. So I can't really bulk. Um, I, you know, it's hard to bulk at least. Um, but that was yeah. my biggest journey. It was just like up and down and realizing like, what do I like? What don't I like? All right. This was too much on the pendulum. You know, this is too least. And it's just like a matter of like, what do I want to like stay at? Um, yeah, it's, it's, and, that's, you know. that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. So do you For have sure. a feeling of what you know, what you like to be at? Like what you're like, this is where I feel the best at. Um, 155, I think is an obtainable, but long-term goal. And right now, I mean, this is just me and you now on the call. And what are you at right now? All right now, I'm at like 195. Okay. And a lot of people are like, there's no way you're, you're that big. And I'm like. But you're strong too. <laughs> you know, yeah. You're, you're an athlete. So, um, and why 155, if you don't mind me asking? Because I've been 155 before. And I mentally... I'm a lot more healthier uh -huh. um, at that. It's, it's, it's crazy how you um, connect mental health and physical health together. Cause I feel like that's always been a part of my life, I guess, growing up. Like, I think my dad would like put in the back of my mind, like, I need to stay fit. 
you know uh -huh. he'd like pinch my stomach like when are you going to the gym yeah Type. so it's like i've been struggling it for with that forever but ever since i hit that 155 mark i was like hell yes like yeah. on top of like the world like I was running for an hour and 15 minutes. I was eating 800 calories just so like, I don't lose my spot at the starting like third baseman. So it was like crunch time during the summer. And so when I went back to college, obviously there's other temptations like drinking and partying and the cafeteria food is shitty yeah. and like all this stuff. And like, ugh, I'm just like, as soon as actual season came around, I was like, fuck, like, <laughs> I'm you not where I was. So yeah, that's that's basically why. So one thing I want to say about mental, obviously like mind and body performance has the name for a reason. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. And something you are right. And but something I do want to also say is like a lot of people will put their self worth into their body and that's not healthy. You know? Yeah. Don't think that your self-worth comes from what you look like or how much you weigh or whatever. Your self-worth comes from the value that you see in yourself of what you give to other people. You could do that at 400 mm -hmm. pounds or two pounds. You know, if you, you know, if you're making people happy and you're making people feel good around you, you know, like that's including yourself. Mm hmm so that's the thing I want to get across. But obviously you have something in your mind that's saying like, well, in order to feel good yourself, you got to do this. And when you don't do those things, you feel bad. Right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but I, I, I just want to put that. Like, don't, you know, don't equate your self-worth to the scale. But that's why I asked why you want to want 55. I just want to see why. Yeah. Yeah. Because mentally, I'm just like. You feel good. Okay. I feel now, good. Now what, if, now what if you felt and, and you looked the, the same, you felt the same, but you were 165, would you be happy? If I felt the same and looked the same as I would be at 155, but I was 165, I'll take it. Good. I, I would take that. it. Love that. Yeah. Because I mean, I got a little something, something at it. That's not, yeah. there's nothing bad about that, you know? <laughs> And he loves on the gravel on, dude. Come on now. What's that? Oh, that? <laughs> I'm only saying that because you're the only one. I mean, I didn't say it. You're the one who said it out loud. I know. So. I just, I know. <laughs> I'm totally joking, kind of. Um, <laughs> so, so basically, it's about 40, 30 to 40 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And usually what I say is about a pound to two pounds a week. So it's about 30 to 15 weeks. Mm -hmm. 15, sorry, 15 to 30 weeks. That mm -hmm. is from now until almost the end of the year till about Valentine's Day. <laughs> timing. <laughs> timing, right? It's timing. So yeah. what would be a huge motivation for you to continue when times get big and shitty? Because they will. Mm -hmm. what can motivate you to get past that in your mind right now? Like, what do you desire? I'm thinking, uh, like, are you talking about tangible or untangible? I, just something that, like, you're like, I would just, this would motivate me. Like, for me, like, in fitness-wise, that's probably why I'm maintaining right now because I really don't have that. But, like, let's say when I was 250, I was like, dude, I don't want to be huffing and puffing, like, when I'm putting on my mm -hmm. socks, like that was a motivator for mm -hmm. me. Like I'm over this. Um, a motivator for me when I was playing football was like, I don't want to go out and tackle somebody and then running me the F over. Like mm -hmm. it was like a fear thing. So I would just grind out. Cause I was like, I'm going to run him over. Mm -hmm. um, so either what do you fear or what do you desire the most? I fear that honestly when it comes to guys mm -hmm. i get like kind of self-conscious i guess yeah. yeah so like i don't want to have to feel that way with my body by myself let alone feel that way around a guy because i I've, I've i've 
talk to a guy that's very fit, like bulky, which made me feel like, man, I need to keep on top of my shit, but then it'd make me feel bad. So then I started getting crappy again after like we were done. So it was like, I don't want to feel that. I want to be able to do this by myself and do it for myself instead of a guy determining, determ, deter, I can't even say it. Determining your, your happiness? Exactly. Exactly. And so it's like, who, who needs to I, determine your happiness? Me. So who, who should you be valuing thoughts and opinions of only? Me. <laughs> what are you doing right there? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what I like, what I do is I journal. Like, do you, do you have your journal? Like, you know, today this made me happy. Like at the end of the day, like today this made me happy. Mm -hmm. Today I'm grateful for this. Tomorrow I want this. Mm -hmm. you do every day. Those three questions. Today I was thankful for this. Today this I was happy about this. Tomorrow I want this. Because then you can be like, what happened today that I was grateful for? Make you aware so you can continue doing that tomorrow. And then what's something that you maybe didn't have today that you want tomorrow? That you could say, I want this, but it's only you. Because the only like the only person that will be with you forever and ever, whether you get married or not, is you. Because eventually the husband or the wife dies first, right? It's super dark to say. But I it's heard, true. I heard it come out of my mouth, but yeah. It's true. So the only person that's with you hundred percent of the time is you. Mm -hmm. So you're the only one that can make you happy hundred percent of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you hear that from a lot of girls? I feel like I feel like you hear it all the time. All the time. All the time. I mean, not okay. like that. I saw the eye you gave me. Not like that, but yes, from like clients and stuff. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I just don't want that to be a thing. The I guy guess. that you're gonna be the happiest with is the guy that's gonna love you for who you are, no matter mm -hmm. what, for your personality, like not the physical stuff about the emotional yeah. stuff. He's going to love you for the emotional mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And as you get, you know, you have your, I'm tr I have them too. I have my little holiday seasons, you know, I get a little, little some, some, you know, like <laughs> it, it has no, it's human. Like, you know, like humans are humans, like mm -hmm. whatever, like we should indulge in the Santa rolls cause we fucking like them. Those are amazing. You know, yeah. like we shouldn't like restrict yeah. ourselves and only eat mm -hmm. chicken and broccoli all the time. And um, it's a matter of knowing what makes you happy and just doing that. Mm -hmm and not having anyone else affect your happiness because then yeah. they have control. Okay. You need to have all the control. And if some guy comes in your life and makes you more happy, that's a plus. But if he's mm -hmm. gone tomorrow, look, it's still going to suck, but it's not going to kill you. Because mm -hmm. you still got you. True. I still got me. Still got you. Oh, you always have you. That is very true. It's the only thing you'll always have. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you're good Fuck. though so let's um no let's i'm I, not I, trying to like dump on all my new that is that's not what i'm trying to do what i'm not trying to like dump all my problems on oh, you good. this no was worries. just strictly no, nutrition. No, no worries no this is, this is my job trust me i like doing this stuff i enjoy it okay yeah. let's reconnect next week and see how the week goes Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. You, you're also on my ass, too. Because I'm like, shit. Malik's going to... He's going to say something about this. Yeah, I will. You know I will. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to connect next week, and we're going to okay. talk about what happened in the week. You know? Because I'm not, I'm not saying restrict yourself, too. Like, if you want the... You know, if you want some, have it. But, like, you could say, like, yeah, I, I wanted it, and I had it. Like, that's how I want you to act. Like, I don't want you to mm -hmm. be like, oh, I had that. You're like, you know, I was just having a rough day, and I had it. Like, cool. You know? Yeah. You see how that switch? You see how that's totally different? Because mm -hmm. then, if you, like, just be don't judge yourself too hard. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, because life's hard already. Life's gonna judge you already. For real. Yeah, <laughs> life's gonna judge you. Everyone's gonna judge you. You don't gotta do it to yourself. Be nice to mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's connect next week. Do okay. you? Do you Thank you for the one on one. Yes, I, I got you. It. I always appreciate one on ones.
yeah. especially because people were probably expecting 10 other people and i'm like right. okay i'm gonna be like a sea of people but now like really I'm, glad you came. I'm, I'm glad you had the courage to come yeah thanks Thank fact, you for having this. This is great. Yeah. And the fact that you came shows me that you want to change something. And I love that you want to change mm -hmm. something. So you're already doing it. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it. Just build the momentum. You already started it. Just keep going. Okay. All right. So the, I'll see the checkoffs okay. of the workouts, of the walks. I'll see your nutrition getting tracked, whatever you're doing. And then let's connect next Thursday. Because mm -hmm. next Thursday, I'm probably going to do this too. So let's do this next Thursday. Come on board and we'll ask the question. I don't know who's going to show up, but hopefully more people than today. And then if we, and if you want another one-on-one, -on -one, okay. <laughs> we can do another FaceTime and have another one-on-one -on -one and just be like, yo, like this was the hardest thing last okay. week. This was, this was what, this was the win. Like this is what was great about last week. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then just go on to next week and just every week build more mm -hmm. momentum and momentum. Just don't quit and don't stop. Okay. okay. I won't. Thank you. I never quit. No piggy. And if you miss a day, don't be like, oh, I miss a day. Like, oh, my God, I quit. Like, oh, I'm all right, so come back tomorrow. Don't judge yourself okay. too hard. Be like, oh, whatever. Fucking miss a day. Not a big deal. Okay. All right? Okay. All right, Bernie. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll stay in touch. I'll keep an eye on you. You know I will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You know Bye. Was. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.